Tony, we're here today to look at this Geminis machine which you just purchased. This is a GT5. I've been to the uh, factory in Spain. I've got to say, um, supplied now by DTS in the UK, these Geminis machines, I believe, are undersold. They have to be one of the, the best and the most heaviest duty flatbed lathes I've seen. Now, you'd concur with that, wouldn't you, having I, now purchased this? I, I agree, yeah. They are uh, a very good machine for... Um heavy duty machining, uh, heavy duty turning, uh, long bed uh, machining. Um, there must be many applications, uh, especially in the UK, that uh, could benefit from these, this type of machine. And I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of them in the market. Now this is actually, a, is it about 8 metres? The, the length? It, it's exactly 8 metre uh, travel uh, on the uh, um, Z axis. Are you going to get the benefit of that? Have you got parts that long? We bought it specifically for a part that we have in mind that uh, requires all eight metres of the uh, uh, the available capacity. Yeah. I mean, I saw uh, one of these at Emo, and if you watch our channel, you may have seen the video where I was in front, in fact, with one of my colleagues, Geo, and they had a rotor on the machine. That was your part, wasn't it? That was our part, yeah. We... Uh, it was a bit of a relationship we built up with um, um, Geminis. This, this machine was installed in the middle of August. And we went over for, to the Geminis factory for the sign-off of the machine and um, they asked the, the component that we sent over, they asked if they could uh, retain the component. <laughs> and, uh, a bit of value in that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You just remind me, actually, we haven't got that one back yet. But uh, if they could retain the component for uh, demonstration purposes within the EMO exhibition. Now, that's really the story here, is the applications that you're doing on this machine. These rotors, um, they're, they're big, they're yep. heavy, they're hard materials, intermittent cutting. All of those things go to show and demonstrate the capabilities of this machine. Yes, they do, and uh, again, that's the reason one, why it was chosen. Uh, we had this criteria out uh, to several other suppliers um, for this type of machining. Um, you see the component that's in the moment is just a straightforward shaft, but the finished rotors themselves are uh, out of balance um, uh, components. There are a lot of intermittent cutting, with uh, hard surface uh, materials also that you've got to deal with. So there's a lot of uh, challenges that come forward with it. Yeah, I mean, the, the vibration you must get, or, or the, you know, as, as you're doing those intermittent cuts, can you, can you feel it? Do you have to back off because of that? Or does, it, does the, the sheer weight of the machine actually suck, suck in all that vibration? In? And there's a bit of a combination between both. I mean, underneath the uh, machine, there was a, a one solid slab foundation which was also uh, there's a, a damp, damping uh, layer that's put inside the uh, underneath the foundation which takes out any uh, of the vibration or uh, you know uh, any movement as such which you need now you've got your steadies on the end here you've got three yeah. three fixed steadies that come with it i mean you're going to need those if you're doing those at eight meter lengths one of them came with it but we specified two other ones as accessories because we the, the two larger ones we need for uh, these particular components that we're doing at uh, eight meter lengths now what i could say to you is having been to the geminis factory you've got a tool post on this machine but i've seen these machines with turrets with with b-axis heads they're very versatile aren't they is that something that you think in the future you may be able to reduce your manual handling by yes. opting for different geminis machines we've, we've already looked into the uh, one of the one of the uh, accessories that they supplied as an option is uh, a grinding uh, attachment so you can basically put the, this attachment within the tool post, the current tool post, and it, we've already had it supplied, uh, the back of the tool post, with the uh, um, electrical connections, uh, the power source for this grinding head, so if we purchase this at a later date, um, we can turn and then finish grind all in, while, while the uh, component is set up in the machine, um, and we've already got it prepar prepared for this uh, attachment. Uh, it's also important to say that this GT5 comes in various bed lengths, so it doesn't just have to be 8 metres, I think they come as 2, 3 metre yeah. lengths. There's a GT7, a GT9, the range is, yeah. is very extensive. Fact, from what I believe, the GT5 is the baby of the series, and like, as you just mentioned, they go to 7, 9, 10, 11, you know, so they, they go a lot bigger and 
Yes. You know? Yes. Plenty of power in this spindle as well. Plenty of capacity. Uh, the controls, there's also options on those, but I know the guys here selected Fanuc. Now being supplied these machines by DTS in the UK. Uh, it'd be fair to say one happy customer. One happy customer, yes. Very happy customer. I don't know. But, uh, one because we've been given the... Uh, possibility for all this uh, investment into the company um, which is bears, bears well for our future and uh, I think we're the all three installations have, um, have gone uh, ahead without with very little um, disruption as such um, and again this one you know it's just added to our uh, machine our turning capabilities and again we're a very happy customer here.